Hello guys, it's your everyday wonder here, back again with another episode of the Minecraft Experience. Welcome everyone to episode 42. This episode, we are going to be working on something different. Very different. As I said a while ago, I um, walled off a little area here to build a house or a mansion or something. And I think we're going to start working on that this episode. The reason why I haven't been working on it is because I didn't know where to start. I've been thinking a lot lately, and I'm pretty sure I know how I'm going to go about this. So this will look very strange to you right now, this random structure here. But you know what? Instead of trying to explain it, I'm just going to start building, and hopefully you guys will see where I'm going to go with it. I have not done this in creative yet, so I don't know exactly how this is going to turn out. I hope that everything will turn out just dandy that was that was pretty bad <laughs> that was a pretty bad fail right there I hope everything will turn out just fine though um, what I'm using is the inspiration that I'm using for this uh, house is a post on reddit somebody made a post on reddit and it was a very cool looking house very um abnormal but very nicely done so I'm using inspiration from that and adding my own touches on it and um, putting it in this situation and we're gonna have to see how it turns out so this episode we're gonna be working on the roof this roof is going to be slanted in two different directions and um, it's gonna be on two different levels you guys will have to I can't really do a good job explaining it while I'm up here so you guys are just gonna have to see how it turns out so this is just going to be a bit of a buildy episode. Haven't done one of these in a little while. So building episodes are always nice because it gives me a chance to talk to you guys. Even though it seems like I always get a chance to talk to you guys in um these episodes. It's not always about the gameplay. Minecraft experience is more of a uh, talky episode. Feed the Beast is a very heavily gameplay oriented series. So if you want me to talk about the gameplay the entire episode... Go to Feed the Beast. Almost all my Feed the Beast episodes, I'm talking about the gameplay the entire episode, because that's just how Feed the Beast works. You can't really play Feed the Beast that much without really explaining what you're doing or what's going on. So, if you guys um don't like it when I do episodes like these, I apologize. If, you, if it actually bothers you that much, please leave a comment on it, because I like to know how you guys feel about my videos. I don't want to be making videos that you guys won't end up liking. So, I think these videos are just a good time for me to have uh, some one-on-one -on -one real talk with my uh, beautiful subscribers out there. So, yeah, that's um, that's just how I feel about the Minecraft experience. I mean, besides that, it's just um, it's just kind of your standard let's play. Okay, I guess I just can't walk today. <laughs> Alright, so let's get back up there. I'm going to have like eight dirt pillars by the time I'm done with just this half of the roof. Let's actually work from down here. We need to get some layers going down. I want to cut that out. I'll put that back in. Alright, cut this out. Alright, hopefully I could build without having to be under it. One more. Alright. So yeah, this is going to be slanting down um, half slabs by half slabs. So I actually need to cut that block out under it. Come on. All right, this goes here. And then this goes there. Put this here. Cut that out. Wait, I'm doing something wrong. Oh yeah, then cut this out. Put that there. Wow, this is going to be a lot <laughs> more difficult than I thought it's going to be. Or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I don't know, but it's going to be nice to have these half slabs because not as many mobs will spawn on top of the house. And I'm going to still need to light it up because mobs only don't spawn on uh, regular half slabs. Upside down half slabs, though, they will spawn on, unfortunately. So we're going to need to take care of that. But this roof is going to slant down until right around that. That's going to... That's going to be a corner of the house. That's another corner. Then over there are two more corners. So I'll actually try to explain this. So this, this roof's going to go to here. And then down there, I'm going to do the same process I'm doing up here. I'm going to start a slant. 
make it go all the way down, then maybe have some sort of filler here in the center. It's, it's very different, a very different design. I really liked it. So that's why I'm using it for this um, house, mansion, whatever. This could be my uh, main area of residence. I've never actually had a uh, house in this before where I just kept my bed and just some simple stuff. I've had a little castle area, which is horrible looking back on. I really don't like it at all. The uh, whole Station 001 area is very noobish, in my opinion. Back when I was building it, I liked it, but looking back on it, I really, really don't like it. So, that could, um, that could just stay the way it is. I mean, I'm not really planning on ever going back there to build. That's why I wanted to come to spawn here, so... I was actually thinking about a new world for a while, but... Instead, I figured, why not just a new start on the same world where I already have everything, so... That's what spawn is. Everything so far, I'm really happy with it. Spawn like the statue, that tower. That tower is really neat, and uh, my iron golem farm. My iron golem farm isn't really necessarily for looks; it's just for functionality. But it does look pretty cool. I have to say myself. So I guess I do have to stack myself up to uh, build because I can't really get to the access the bottom of the half slabs from up top. So I just need to build this roof from the bottom. Break that. Beautiful. I love this shovel. It's uh, efficiency 4 on breaking 3, fortune 3. Just lasts forever and destroys everything in its path. Just like, look at that. Uh, these, overpowered, these overpowered shovels need to learn how to speak. I always do that every episode. I mess up a word or so. Make myself sound stupid. But, yeah, this is how the roof is going to go down. It's going to be pretty nifty once it's finished. Alright, let's go... Let's go right, right here. Stack ourselves up. I'll just make it go all the way down on one edge and then just build out to make it easier on myself. Go down one, two. Alright, that's good. So we want to go out like this. Knock that out. We want to go out like this. Knock that out. We want to go out some more. I'm not sure when I'm going to flatten this out. I want to flatten it out at some point. So we put that out like that, knock that out. Alright, alright, I think I got a little system here. So then, that's just only a half slab. Because that is a half slab on the bottom half of the block, not an upside down half slab on the top half. That's why it doesn't... Wait, is that an upside down half slab? Yeah, no, it's not. That's bottom half, so that's why the half slab I put under it doesn't make it turn into a full block. Okay, now when you do... Okay, I need to go down a little bit. Too high up. Alright, that should be good. I feel this house is going to turn out really nice, though. Um, I'm going to really take a lot off that picture and use it to the best of my ability. Because that, that has a the house has a lot to it. I'll uh, put the post in the uh, description so you guys can check it out if you want to. Because it's a really neat house if you guys want to... Uh, use some inspiration off of it. I'm giving all credit to that post um, from my inspiration off here because I needed it from somewhere. I was kind of in a, uh, a little bit of a lull. So I, I think that this might take me out of my lull. My little builder's lull for this house at least. Alright, I think I'm going to go down one more and then this is where it will flatten out. This looks like this look, looks like it's not too far from the edge and it will be a good spot to flatten out. Alright, so now let's head back up to the top. Fill in all this stuff with this jungle wood half slabs. And this is a very, um, uh, underused, that, that's the word that I'm looking for. This is very underused block. Not many people use, uh, jungle wood planks. And they can be really nice in, uh, certain situations like this one. This is going to be really nice for the roof because it's going to contrast with the rest of the house because the rest of the house is going to be mostly light wood and sandstone. And I'm going to put some quartz in there where I can, where I think it'll look good because when the post was made, quartz did not exist in the game. And now we have access to that. So I can use quartz to my advantage and maybe add some really neat features to the house. I... Oh, I hate how that iron golem farm always glitches out whenever I don't use it for a while. Like before, when I went there, there was like literally 50 iron golems under there. I need to slay them all, and I felt so horrible. I felt like a horrible owner. But uh, nothing spawning up here. All right, these are these are what I need to put my torches on. Hold on, you guys hear that? Huh. 
Maybe that's just me, but that I just heard like a really weird sound glitch right there. That I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of like a techno-y like sound. I'm hearing it when I walk. That's that's very strange. All right. Back on topic though, but the only problem with that Iron Golem farm is that if you don't use it for a while, say if I log off the world, log back in, there's Iron Golems there. The next Iron Golem that comes down and goes into the um, holding cell, it'll, like, the Iron Golems that were previously in there will glitch and just get pushed right through the wall. And that, it, that really stacks up after a while, and it's really annoying. So that's one glitch about that, I mean... Maybe they'll fix that in the future. I don't know if it's just an issue with the mob itself or it's an issue with the uh, um, login. I, I don't. I don't know how that works. I'm not Mr. Technicality over here. But yeah, I just seem to run into that problem all the time. I know Doc M said in his tutorial to make sure to always use the farm before you log off, or else you will run into this glitch. But I don't really listen. <laughs> Because I'm usually like in the middle of doing something or I just have to go and I really don't it doesn't really cross my mind to go use it Or I'm just lazy and don't really want to So I, I mean I guess I'm just Getting payback for not listening, but whatever getting karma Not the good kind of karma not your Lincoln comic karma the bad karma But I think hopefully I'll have enough of jungle wood planks to finish this roof How much do I have I still have three stacks I think I should be able to finish it with that. And then I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with the walls and stuff. It's going to be a very modern looking house. Um, I have to put a lot of uh, leaves in it. Leaves always make houses look better. I've noticed that after seeing a lot of builds before. Um, throw some shrubs in the front and around it. It really ups the look of the house. Makes it look a lot less plain. Just add adding foliage to anything. Um, any sort of structure usually makes it look better. Unless you want like a really industrial look, I guess then don't use any foliage but uh pro tip when you're building structures and whatnot use foliage i mean like obviously with my obsidian tower i couldn't use any foliage because leaves don't really make sense in that situation it wouldn't make sense to have um like shrubs and whatnot outside of this um black this large black menacing tower uh, like if you wise words of b00 um this isn't quoting him, but this is like paraphrasing what he said. Um, builds are a lot better and look a lot better and just have a better feel to them when you apply real life standards to them. Like, would this make sense in real life? If you do that to your builds, then it makes them look a lot better. And just, um, it just makes them have a better feel to it. Oh yeah, these, I was going to make them all in a nice row, but I'll redo these torches later. I just don't want anything spawning up here while I'm building. I don't want a creeper ruining our day. That's the last thing I want, actually. But I'll run out of torches before I get to the end of this roof. Alright, so here is the last one. This That's the bottom half of a block. Alright, that's that's perfect, actually. That's perfect. Good thing we ended it here. And then, because when we build it up, we won't have to add an extra half slab in under it, so there won't be any extra unneeded space. Alright. Pop some more in the hot bar. Alright, let's build all along down here. So then, now, as I said, we're going to bring this roof out to be flat. Alright, I just want to make sure I'm lining this stuff up right. Okay, so then I want to go out one here. I wanted to have a little um, awning. No awning also looks pretty bad. I mean, I don't know how this roof's going to look um, anyways. It might need a lot of work done to it, or it might look amazing as it is. I don't know. I'm just doing this off memory of the post, because I've looked at that picture for a while. And I think I have a pretty good feel of how I'm going to do it. And I don't want to copy it exactly. I mean, there's no fun in that. So that's why I'm just doing this my own way. I have a feeling that that makes it more original and um, better for YouTube because, I mean, if somebody makes a video series just copying other people's builds, then, I mean, what's the point in that? You always have to add your own touches to it and whatnot. Inspiration off other builds, it's, it's all good and everything. I mean, you always have to get inspiration from somewhere. and It's not like um, everybody's builds ever has just been their 
own idea completely 100%. They haven't seen anything else like it before. Um, I mean, there are some builds out there like that, but uh, you always have to have inspiration of something. You always have to um, have some sort of general basis of how you're going to do your build. Hello, spider. If I had an arrow, I would shoot you. And you too. Menace. So I want to clear this forest out, actually. Because I don't want all my builds to be over here. I want it. I want spawn to be surrounded. I want to maximize the potential of that beacon. I want to have all my main stuff around this area. That's why I blew up that cave under it. Because, um... The blew up the cave under there. Because that... Almost all that entire... Actually, all that entire cave is beacon area so I always get the beacon buffs from there right now I think I still have haste on it I'm not even within range I think right there is like the edge of it or so yeah I don't think this house is within range oh well not that big of a deal I still need more beacons but I have I have not had the patience to oh, I need to make a crafting table I haven't had the patience to go to the nether and um, grind withers for like five hours. It, it was probably more than five hours, honestly, when I did it to get the first beacon. It is just completely ridiculous how many withers you need to kill to get just one wither skull even. It's actually complete, completely based on luck. There's no um, extra boosts that help you get the wither skulls easier. easier. I think looting might help. A little bit but I don't think it helps that much to the point where it just makes it a really easy process because I mean I use this uh, looting three sharpness four sword to go kill all the weather and um, it still took forever it's just such a tedious strenuous process that it's just not fun at all I mean like in feed the beast and stuff there I know there's a lot of ways to get weather skulls easy and then you can get your beacons there and kill the weather but um minecraft vanilla no not quite yet up oh, messed that up Alright, so I believe this is half the roof done. Let's... 720, no scope! <laughs> let's let's go take a look at it from distance. Actually, let's, let's build these edge pillars up first. To give it somewhat of a finished feel, I guess. Alright, then just pop some dirt here. Alright, break myself down. So right, right there, those um like squares at the bottom, they are going to be entrances, cause I want this to be able to go right through, cause that entrance is centered with that path. So I want to be able to go right through this house to get to Iron Golem Farm, maybe have a little garden back here or something. That, that's what I was thinking. I think a garden might be really nice behind this house, cause there's not really that much room around it. I'm gonna include some grass and uh, bushes and foliage and stuff to make it look nice, as I said. But to have like a full blown out garden back there, I've always wanted to do a garden. Gardens are really nice in Minecraft if you know how to do them well. And I, I don't I don't know how to do them well, but I could try. So let's take a look at this. Mm-hmm. Lots of potential. Yep. I like it. How far are we into this episode? 18 minutes. We can work. Actually, we're going to want to make this the same... Hmm. No, we don't. We don't want to make it the same height. I was going to say this the same height as that, like this roof, but no, that, that wouldn't work out well. We'll just um see whatever this one ends up looking like it's going to be. I don't want to make it too much lower. I was just going to say the same height just for aesthetic looks, but I think in the end, it'll look better if it's not the same height. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing that we did. Uh, hello. This is going to be up one slab. So I'm going to put you right there. Goodbye to you. Uh-huh. I think that's how we'll do it. So we're just going to bring this all the way across and do the same thing and just go down. I'm going to have to stack myself up again, obviously. But, uh, yeah. I think this is going to be really interesting. I don't want to build all this house on screen. I just wanted to start it on screen so I could give you guys an idea of what I'm doing. Because building everything on screen, that that's not my style. I don't like to do that. That makes me feel like I can't have just fun playing the game. That makes me feel like it's just work. That whenever I open up Minecraft, I have to uh, work at it. I mean, like, recording recording is a very, um, uh, how, how am I supposed to say, fickle. Recording is a very fickle thing. You either really want to record or you really don't. 
I mean, right now, I, I kind of didn't want to record. I mean, I just came home from school, and I mean, when, like, people out there, everyone out there has gone to school. When you come home from school, you don't want to, uh, make YouTube videos. You just want to, uh, hang out, play video games, relax, whatever. But, I mean, this is, this is what I do for you guys. I record videos for you guys, and, um, for everyone else's entertainment. I don't do it, um... For me, that's for sure. I mean, right now, I would just be building this house, listening to music, talking to whoever, and uh, I would be enjoying that, but I'm recording this just for you guys, so, yeah. I like my subscribers. Stop it! You're gonna scare me. Alright. Ooh. That might work. Nope. That's not working. So, that... Knock that out, knock that out, knock that out. Hey! Stop it! Crazy man! Calm down out there, crazy. You're gonna scare all the animals away. Oh yeah, look, you already did. Great job, Enderman. Great job. You scared all the wildlife away. Cause you're crazy teleporting. Alright. Pop that out there. Uh, we'll go down. We'll go down one more. And then that'll be the flat level. Alright, this should work out. I'm feeling this, guys. I'm feeling this. I mean, the roof might look pretty weird without any walls. I think it's going to. It's going to look very plain and weird. But once I add in the walls and add in all the different colors to the equation, it's going to look really nice. I have a feeling this is going to turn out to be a great build. I'm feeling good about this, guys. I mean... I used to be a pretty bad builder, but I got comments saying, like, oh, nice build, and I, I appreciate that. I appreciate it a lot, but in my eyes, I just didn't like the way any of my old builds turned out. Um, back in Station 001, I'm referring to. All my newer builds, I'm liking. I'm enjoying these. I mean, after learning a lot and watching just so many Minecraft videos, you learn a lot about building, especially when you're a big B00 fan like myself. I, I really love watching B00 videos. You learn so much from them. And he's just a great entertainer, I mean. But, alright, enough fanboying. Um, I feel as if watching all these videos from, like, Minecraft people and whatnot really have helped me out with improving my own skill at the game. Because the more you know, the better you are at the game. So, we're, we are out of... I oh, hate when I do that. We are out of Junglewood Slabs. When you, we're going to make some mo. I need to transfer a lot of this from... Station 001 because that's where all my jungle wood and everything was at. And I went back there, used my tree farms a little bit. There, those are pretty poorly designed too. They could be a lot better, but whatever. I'm not gonna complain about my old designs. It's still functional. Trees still grow. I could still cut them down. Whatever. I'm not gonna remake any tree farms here. That's just a waste of time when I already have access to them. So yeah, I mean. That's what I want to do, and I want to. I would just want to start building all sorts of stuff around this area. It's going to be so cool once I've turned this place into my own little city, basically. Because this is going to be nice. It, well, not a city, a town. This isn't really a city house. This is more of like a townhouse. That, there's that sound again. It's so strange. You guys hear that? It's so weird. If, if you want, just like, turn up your speakers like right now and I'll be quiet for 10 seconds and just listen real closely. Yeah, that, that's, that's a really weird sound when I walk. I don't know if that's my audio or what that is, but that whatever that is, that's, that's very, very strange. I've never heard that in Minecraft before. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's this new snapshot. I've been playing on Snapshot 13W05A. I was on that Snapshot last episode, but I didn't really mention it. <coughs> Sorry about that, but um, this Snapshot has had some performance issues. Like, um, I've heard a lot of people talk about it, but my frames have not been as good in this Snapshot as other Snapshots. And I don't really know what that is. I know Etho mentioned it, and that's why he wasn't playing in it. So, I'm just going to stick with it because I'm already here. A uh, new Snapshot's coming out. It, it might already be out by the time this video comes out. I don't know, but it comes out in two days for me because it is Tuesday afternoon. I'm recording this Tuesday the 5th. So we'll have to see what the new snapshot has in hold. Maybe some new cool stuff. 
but uh, I don't think they're going to include that many new features because they've already added a lot. And I know that last snapshot, Mojang said that they wanted to get ready for uh, releasing 1.5. So that's uh, I'm looking. Everyone's looking forward to that to have an actual 1.5 that I could have Optifine again and um, run the Faithful Texture Pack again, and then everything will look even more beautiful and it'll, it'll be awesome. I can't wait. But we're gonna finish off this roof, and I think that we will call it an episode. I'll have to clean up the dirt and stuff, and then I think I'll start working on the walls off screen, and we might work on this house again next episode. Hopefully, you guys are all right with that. I mean, it's just building, um, nothing much to it. I, I've I have all sorts of topics I could talk about. I just uh, chose to not go on one main topic this video. Um, I Before m most of my videos, I always think of something to talk about if I uh, ever get lost, if my mind just uh, draws a blank. I always think, hey, how about I'll just talk about this. I don't know, j just a little trick that I do so I don't ever just have awkward pauses of silence in my videos so then uh, there's no awkward viewing I guess and I don't have to cut at all because I, I've never actually had to do that before I've never had to cut a video for me being awkwardly silent for too long of a period I usually manage to find something to say within that time maybe for like two or three seconds or so maybe like when I'm doing a collab with KMac maybe we both want to say something at the same time we're just waiting for one another to go first I don't know, maybe something stupid like that, but I try my best to just keep the commentary flowing and not to stop and be like, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah. I, I don't want to, I don't want to be one of those guys. So, let's grab ourselves some oak wood. Actually, we want to keep those in a hot bar. Take it over here, finish these pillars. Might add, I'm going to add a lot more pillars because just four pillars well not four but just these couple pillars will not look good I don't know if they'll be at they'll probably be at Oakwood but uh, I'll probably add some well I'm definitely adding some more to make the build look a lot better so let's add let's finish this one up go take a quick peek at it can I get all this dirt from here please tell me I can yeah beautiful tear that down alright let's go take a quick peek at this roof I feel in the middle might be a little bit awkward. I might have to make some changes to it. Oh yeah, I need to I need to throw something in there, but yeah, I like that. I like how that looks. Oh yeah, that's something. That's something to work off of. I need to figure out what I'm going to do in there. I might need a wall or something. I don't know. That didn't really cross my mind, but I know I I know the fact that they're off level is very unique and different. And the doorway will be right there. I know it's off center with this, and that really bothers me too. But I'd rather it be on center with that than on center with this. All right. So, yeah, this has a lot of potential. I, I I'm eager to keep working on this off screen. I'm gonna start working on the walls. I'm um, gonna throw a lot of light colors in there now because this is very dark right now, very um, monotone. So we're going to throw some light colors in there to uh, jazz it up a little bit. So, please leave this video a like if you guys enjoyed, and consider subscribing if you guys enjoyed this too. Because if you subscribe, then you'll get a little bit of this every day or so. <laughs> Alright guys, so, until next episode, peace out.